Welcome back to Fox and Friends. Now, forget all the hysteria surrounding President Trump's sit down with Vladimir Putin. Collusion, ceasefire, those aren't the real stories. Luckily, journalist Chris Matthews uncovered it. The big story was the way they both engaged in the art of man spreading, widening their legs out as far as the wings of those chairs allowed them. Nobody's going to out man spread me. You can hear their little psyches urging them on. Okay, well, here to comment. <laughs> the man spreading expert, our own Maria Bartiromo, <laughs> joins the couch. This is incredible. I mean, that's the big story. Um, he said big story. He said big story. Yeah. No, look, I think it's very clear that at this point, uh, the president's foreign trips have been very successful and that he bared that out again. Uh, this trip, he's actually bringing up the real issues that matter to the American people. He's actually having a movement with regard to China and China's efforts to reign in right. North Korea. And then, of course, it's uh, Pete, the report that you you raised, the other 19 countries yeah. uh, out of the G20, actually, in terms of um, uh, moves against American interests, whether it's individuals or, or companies, uh, against, that means duties, that means tariffs, it's down 20, uh, it, it is down significantly 29% in the first six months of the year. So it's, it tells you that the president's tough talk is actually resonating and countries are thinking twice before actually pushing something, uh, putting something against an American interest, an American individual, a company, because they don't want to see that reciprocated. But this is all boring, right? The mainstream media finds this stuff boring because right. these are the real issues. I mean, we, we want to talk about man spreading. We want to right. talk about That's Ivanka right. Trump ruining the G20 summit for stepping in for her dad for just a few moments. It's Why is it always the focus, Maria, on the surface level stuff? Because they are trying so hard to, to target and attack Donald Trump and trying so hard to come up with some reason that he is unfit, which in fact is absolutely the opposite. He's shown leadership. He's shown toughness. He has shown uh, an adherence to following his campaign promises and to doing things that are actually going to impact the American people, like the agenda, right. like health care reform and tax reform. Maria, let's get to trade for a moment. What will what they just did in this summit, the G19, G20 summit, however you want to look at it, what will that do for the average American, the average American worker that's looking for a job, that has a job, that wants higher wages, what will this do? Well, it's, it, it's America first policy. That's what the president keeps pushing. Can you imagine that he's getting criticized for putting America first? Yeah. Have you even heard speeches that he's been giving before? I was, I was listening to him the other day and I thought, it's amazing that we haven't heard this in the last eight or ten years. Yeah. Um, but he's putting America first and that's where it resonates with the American people. Because putting America first, thinking about American jobs, thinking about uh, uh, what is going to be beneficial to this country will, in fact, resonate down I mean, if to, folks to the it, average guy. If folks want to call it the G19, then I think we should call it the G1. To your point, America stands alone to do what it does to benefit our country, which ultimately benefits the free world. A strong America means a freer world. But uh, on, the, on the climate accord, which is where everyone's talking about the G19, right. what economic benefit do we get from not tying ourselves to this enormous international agreement? Well, first of all, there's a, a whole bunch of fees and uh, expense around around the, being part of this that go away uh, by the president pulling out. And I think that's really important because there's a whole sense in a portion of the pub public believes that this whole idea of green energy and this what, what President Obama was doing in terms of investing in companies like Solera, the only, gen the, the only thing generated from that was actually fees. You didn't actually have the end market demand. Or cronyism. I mean, government, government business is benefiting from government advantages that they now have through the tax. Exactly right. Yeah. And so I think the president was very quick and, and clear to say, look, we're not going to be part of this. I'm focusing on my agenda. I'm focusing on what is going to resonate with the American people. And that is jobs and that is economic growth. We're going to move the needle on economic growth. Here are my priorities. This is just not a priority. Right. right so now. now the G20 summit's over. He's back home again. The focus shifts back to things American people care about health care, tax reform, That's the economy. Right. You're focusing on that in your show today. And you got some great guests. I do. We're going to start the show off with uh, the chairman of the Homeland Security uh, Committee. That is Michael McCall. Congressman McCall will give us a, an update in terms of what he saw from the foreign trips and how uh, America will benefit. And then we're speaking with Senator Barrasso. That's where we're going to get into health care. Where is this health care bill right now in the Senate? What should we expect in the next two weeks? Then we'll get into taxes with Grover Norquest. Talk about what this tax package may or may not look like this I, year. I know you will, but press that Senator Hart, because 
are they going to go on vacation, <laughs> leaving the American people hanging? We're talking about we're talking to uh, Congressman Andy uh, Biggs about that as well. He wrote a letter to Paul Ryan saying, "Forget the recess." So we'll talk about that. And no man <laughs> spreading, Maria. <laughs> no no man spreading. Unless you win. Okay. Unless you well, win. Well, I mean, after all, Abby, that's the big story. Cool. It's the big. It's the biggest. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Great you. Stuff. Thanks, Maria. <laughs>